art seekers, we're here today with Mancho1929. Thank you so much for chatting with us. So before we get started, how did you come up with the 1929? Obviously you're young and hot, so it's not your <laughs> birth year. <laughs> um, it's, it's a little more personal than I, 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 was, raised, uh, I was raised by my grandfather in, uh, in the Bronx and his nickname was, uh, was Moncho. And um, I, I did a lot of art under my regular name and I always wanted to kind of include him into what I was doing because it was, you know, such a, such a big part of, of me doing artwork and all that. So um, his nickname is Moncho and he was born in 1929. And it was, it's also a two-sided thing because uh, in Puerto Rico, Moncho, Moncho can mean someone named Ramon, or Moncho can mean like a hobo, like a head. So I thought um, it was it was kind of an interesting thing to do these these pieces about um, animal awareness and all this stuff, and have uh, and have the signature be like hobo, you know, something to that effect. So I thought it was a little, a little funny in that way. Yeah, it's but, a little subversive. Uh, yeah, it's so. great. So when did you start to see the street as your canvas? Um, when I I grew up in uh, I grew up in the South Bronx in the late '80s, early '90s, and um, it was all abandoned buildings. It was all you know like all the damage of the buildings, all the missing parts. I I, I thought it was really pretty. I thought it was really beautiful, and that I kind of saw that as being part of in, in the way. And, um, incorporate that into my work. I would do canvas work. I would always, um, I would always do, I would always do these things where I would um, weather the canvas or you know do something to give it that effect. And um, you know, so so the the whole aspect of of uh, of the street and then kind of where I grew up kind of stayed with my artwork. So that's kind of just stayed that way. And then. You know, another another reason why I wanted to do this outside was I wanted to I wanted to bring it into people's everyday. That's great. And out of all of your LA works, which one do you think is the most political? Um, the pieces that aren't around anymore. I did these uh, these wheat paste pieces, and they were um, they were AK 47s but the butt of the gun was an elephant trunk. Because they're, you know, they're they're a little more political for me. They're a little more, they mean a little bit more to me. And I know that sounds opposite where I would do a wheat paste and it would be removed, but I can continue putting the wheat paste on. Whereas a wall, if it got hit, I'd probably get a little personal attachment. To of course. It, you know. Well, are there any neighborhoods in LA that you really think could, or that you really would want to get your hands on? Um. No, I don't. I don't actually. It's not, I don't actually have like a target neighborhood or anything. Um, I did a piece of South Central, which I really like doing. Um, because they don't, you know, unfortunately there are a lot of people in South Central who don't have access to to galleries and don't, you know, aren't exposed to art as much. And it, it reminded me of when, when I grew up and, you know, the art I started to see was graffiti. And, and, yeah. So do you think that there's still any subject in street art that's taboo? I don't. I don't. I, I, I think um, the, there's been a big trend about around money. It's been a big trend around um, finances and you know uh, the rich and the poor and all that. And that, that's fantastic. I think there's a lot more happening in the world than just who has money and who doesn't. Um, there's a lot more in the world than just you know Chanel and Gucci and all that. Um, you know, I. I I think nowadays it's it's both good and bad where you kind of have to be a role journalist and you have to, you know what I mean? The news can only report so much and there's so much going on in the world. 
that you really have to start Art's going to be a great vehicle for all of this communication in a new way. It should be if, if you know done well. And not to say I, you know, I'm, you know explaining my, you know, uh, my message like in the best possible way. I, I do well, I will. I <laughs> yeah, I do what I can. But I think um, if done well, it can, it can be a powerful message. You know? Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. This is really thank great. You. Thank you.